Hey guys, it's me Samuel from my Halloween fandom. I wanted to show you uh, my latest hockey masks. These two are, believe it or not, NECA masks. Um, it's uh, customers that, that send me uh, these two. They wanted me to rehold them to be as screen as accurate as possible. And I think I did a great job. As you can see, let's start with the part three. I'm going to show you um, the before and after. Um, so as you can see, these masks can be improved significantly uh, when you know uh, how to do it. My goal here was not to show you how to do it. There's plenty of uh, videos out there on YouTube that can show it. Um, I just wanted to show you the, the end result to show you that it can be done. So as you can see, unfortunately on this one, I wasn't able to remove all the undercoat. Um, what I mean by that, the the um, the first color, actually, the uh, the actual color that was on the mask before, it was like a yellowish uh, color, uh, really yellowed color, and uh, around the eyes, it stayed a bit, unfortunately. But for the rest, um, there was a bit on the nose here too. For the rest, I think it improved. Um, I improved it significantly. Um, yeah, the vinyl chevrons and stuff, classic scratches that you can uh, find that you can find on the mask uh, screen use mask. Let me show you the inside. I didn't want to to go too crazy in the inside for the part three because it's like the first mask. But yeah, there are quite some stuff. And now for the part four. Part four, I just finished it yesterday and I'm really proud of how it turned out. This is my first part four. And um, as you can see, it's really, but, oh, I'm sorry. It's really, but really close of um, the screen, uh, screen news mask. The only thing that remains NECA-esque is the shape. The masks are like, um, how can I say, smaller, smaller than the actual one uh, of the fiberglass. The actual one that was made in fiberglass, I believe. Um, for If you want to wear it, it will be um, noticeable, but it's if it's just for display purposes, there's no such a big deal. I did a video, a little video display on uh, of this one yesterday. So yeah, the classic scratches, the dirt and stuff. This one is third year. The blood also. I think the blood looks great. There's some there is place for improvement always, but for my first one, I think it looks great. Let me show you the inside. A lot of blood. A uh, bl blur. A lot of blood. As you can see, thirds also. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm quite proud of it. As you can see, it can be done. My next one will be this one here. It's a remake. It's also a NECA. And I'm really excited about this one. I had to redo it. This is the NECA new version. Brand new version. What I mean by that is that... I only put like the, if it was um, out of the shop without any weathering and stuff. I had to work a bit on this one too because I had to add those little metal pins. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. So again, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.